It's workaholic time. No, a lot back to a lot of money. Visa. Today we're back with more Evil Sekai. Uh, today with what I assume to be the Tsukasa chapter. Like right now, I'm assuming that there's gonna be like a quote unquote chapter for every character. Like then there's gonna be like two characters that set up story that have like choices like two or one and then we'll get into the routes is what I'm at. I'm assuming it's gonna be so yeah anyways <laughs> no reason to faff about uh let's just get into it since I've already wasted time till almost 11 p.m. because I got distracted again also I've shot I don't know why but I've started playing Deep Rock Galactic I mean, I'm bad at it, as I am with most shooters. But I start playing it, so anyways, hmm. it is currently late afternoon. School is out, and I'm on my way home. For that, however, I swing by the shopping district so that I can do some grocery shopping for dinner. Say, Shinko, do you reckon? What do you reckon is going on over there? Numerous passes by, passers by were. Staring off in this direction, so curious. I turn my eyes as well. Right. I can plainly see what's going on, but uh, my question is why. <laughs> Fucking child. I want to know who this one is. Like, if, the, if she is, like, a, a main girl in another favorite title, tell me. I'll play it. Right now. <laughs> Not actually right now, but you know what I mean. Anyways. The new resident. <clears throat> the Tsukasa is standing restlessly in the middle of pedestrian traffic with a tacky-looking placard around her neck. On it is written, we'll do anything for money, oh lord. In addition to that, he's hoisting a sign that displays the words, a uh, hundred yen for a good time, written in obvious, obvious magic marker. Oh my fucking... I'm gonna put her out of fucking misery. A hundred yen for a good time. What on earth has this child gotten herself up to? People walk past her hurriedly, only glancing at her while pretending not to look. Work as in a job. That's It certainly sounds like a logical answer, but I can't exactly just nah, say okay and be on, my, on with my business. I'm still confused beyond relief, but I feel like we ought to stop her, whatever the case Tomato? is. I feel like there are better alternatives to go about looking for work than what she's doing. At the very least, this current method of hers likely isn't going to net her any results whatsoever. The fact that I have to already pull this out three minutes into the fucking video. Four minutes now, technically. Exactly. <sighs> YouTube algorithm rhythm is not going to like that. What the fuck? That was a waste. No. She timidly tries to solicit people walking to the show. However, all they do is frown and eye her like a public embarrassment is scary past her. This is just saddening to watch. I peer at her from behind the corner of a nearby narrow road. There's a certain sense of guilt one feels when they discover friend's, friend's shameful secret by pure accident. Which is probably the reason why I haven't gone up to her and said anything. No, I will. I need to, but it's just... 
そんな躊躇してるうちに変な大人に声かけられたりしたらどうするんだ See the old man, come on, Shinky. People in this town are all good people. At the very least, I don't know anyone who fits that description. I'm just being over imaginative. Nobody's gonna take advantage of her or anything. I'm more worried about the shame she's putting upon herself. What could have possibly made her think this was a good idea? It baffles me. Ah! Despite the reassurance that given Shiku, I simply can't bear to watch this go on any longer. Alright. I'm bracing myself to step out onto the street. Hey there! I have to know, what are you doing? She bends over and dips her head energetically. Only for her face to smack right into the placard at full force. Y you okay there? Tears well up in her eyes. Uh, are you, are you really okay? Right. Feels like she's convinced herself that she's uh, in a daily struggle against life itself or something. Mm. I was just passing by and thought I'd say hi. I decided to sell her a white lie. But uh, I have to ask. Hi, I don't mean to pry, but uh Exactly. But, but what what are you offering in exchange for hundred yen? Oi Baka! You raise very well a point. But on the off chance that she fumbles around her words and answers me only in vague terms, I'll know that. Uh, I know then that I have to intervene. Kata desu. I'm, s I'm sorry. Kata tataki desu. And why are you selling so shoulder massages? Watashi, jiman ja nai no desu ga, kata tataki ga tokui nan desu. Oh, really? Hai. Tsukasa chan wa, kata tataki ga totte mo jozu da ne, to.子供の自分からおじさんによく言われたものです。あ、なんか。年末に会うといつも生殺を下さるとても太っ腹なおじさんなのです。今となってはもう観光総裁くらいですか。顔合わせることもないような。そもそもあなたと私はどういう関係？お
Are, are you a Yakuza? Huh? Uh, what I've learned is that Tomine Tsukasa is much, much more virtuous than I'd anticipated. Well, anyway, I, I think I get the picture now. The relief causes the tension my muscles to fade away. You're charging 100 yen for a shoulder massage, yeah? Hi, so this. He stares at me blankly, her eyes flickering. Oh, uh, no, uh... Sorry, just forget I said anything. Mine is stuck in the gutter and I need to take it out. Nodding vaguely, I try to shift the topic of conversation in another direction. So, like, why are you out here in the middle of town trying to sell s shoulder massages? Mm. Hi. Oops. She hangs her head, fiddling with the corner of the tacky homemade placard around her neck. That's why you were trying to earn money via shoulder massages. Yes. ふてに暴かるよ。ええ、と繰り返す私は。お仕事を首になってしまいましたので。ですから、新しい収入源として片叩き思いつきました。私は学校が終わってすぐに人通りが多そうなここに立ってるんですけど。ドンロックライクユフ
Yeah, this does shed a bit of light on the reasoning behind her workaholic lifestyle. How much exactly do you need? Please? How much money do you need to pay the installment this weekend? Ah, yes. That's She cups her hands around her mouth, leans in, and whispers discreetly in my ear. Yes. What? That's a small fortune. I stare at her wide-eyed, the half in belief. The amount she'd whispered to me was no sum of money that any school student had any business dealing with. Yes. She fidgets uncomfortably with an awkward smile plastered on her face. Whatever her reason is for needing this money, I doubt it's one she'd be willing to share with me. But still, I can't honestly expect her. You can't honestly expect to earn that amount with the time you have left. It's downright impossible. Oh yeah, that's a valid point. I scratch the back of my head and begin to muse over the matter. I mean, look, you can give all the shoulder massages you want, but at a cost of 100 yen per massage, you'll never reach your goal. Even disregarding her lack of customers in the first place. Frankly, there is little point even calculating how many she'd need to give, need to give to reach the required sum. The mere thought of it makes my head spin. Note how they are not mentioning how much it actually is. <laughs> Let's discuss. Oi. I don't know why you need such a large sum of money. Right, and I don't necessarily think it's a bad mindset to have. Can't say I share her work ethic, but I would be more than glad to take some of the enthusiasm off of her free of charge. But I don't think eagerness alone is going to solve anything. So, if you really desperately need the money, I'd be willing to lend it. She raised her fists into the air and froze protest and I soon realize that any arguing with her is futile. I mean, what other option do you truly have at this stage? You intend to get me in debt more than once? You, you really think that'll happen? She nods frantically with sincere conviction. Personally, though, I have no issue with her relying on me. I'm her senior, so if anything, I'd prefer she does so. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I'm not criticizing your way of thinking or anything. You gaze up at the sky. Well, whatever. It's getting fairly late, so why don't you come on home for the day? I imagine you must be starving. You eat something. A sudden growl of her stomach betrays every word she just uttered. Soon after, she blushes. You basically just admitted to it, though. You'd have to... You'd have to have been deaf not to hear it. It's fine, you don't need to explain. I quickly interrupt her as she verges towards a full mental breakdown. So what you're trying to say is you don't won't go home until you've made the money. Right, but it'll be pretty hard for you to work at full capacity on an empty stomach, no? You don't think that's uh, taking things a little too far? Smile, but, smile a bit wryly. You sound like a soldier in a war zone almost. Right. She won't budge on this matter no matter what I say. You're gonna do what now? She bows towards me sullenly, and to be frank, I don't think I'm ready to carry such a heavy burden. Allow me to ask you again, why are you so dead set on earning this money? Why are you willing to make so many sacrifices? She's like you're kind of blowing this out of proportion. 
Come on, why are you adamant, adamant against letting me lend you the money? She looks rather despondent. Hmm, okay, I think I get it. It's not something you can bring, she can bring herself to do, because essentially it goes against her personal values. Well, I guess I'll bite. I'll take one of your shoulder massages, 100 yen, right? She smiles in delight. A pure innocent reaction catches me off guard, and I feel a strange twinge in my chest. But I shake my head to regain my composure. She beckons for me to sit down in a folding chair that was seemingly put out, pulled out of thin air. Uh, sure, here's the money in advance, by the way. She waves the bill around, high in the air, eyes sparkling. I'm half tempted to make some witty comment, asking if she's never seen a 10,000 bill, yen bill before, but whatever. You could keep the change. It's uh, a tip. Um, why not? <laughs> oh. Can't help but think that she's just coming up with some far fetched excuse to refuse him money. Who knows, maybe she's just diligent to a fault. Somehow or another, she manages to scrounge together 9,900 yen and shit in shame. Yeah, I can't wait. This seems to be the only thing I can do for her to help her. It's pitiful, really. I want to cry. How far is this poor girl going to go with us? After doing my good deed by providing her with her first ever customer, I walk away feeling somewhat content. My judgment for whatever it's worth, her shoulder charges are her so shoulder massages are indeed very good. Whoops. Whoops. What <laughs> I don't know what what the fuck did I press? <laughs> I don't know why I I, I I guess I was too much into the manga reading mode. I tried to press my fucking right arrow key to go to the next to the next dialogue box. And apparently it turns on skip. It's a good fucking thing I have the option enabled. So it does not skip text I haven't read yet. That could have been fucking disastrous. <laughs> I have to go to, uh, already read that. Instead of leaving, however, I snuck back into the alleyway I was hiding in when I first arrived here. Two and a half hours have passed since then, and the time has long since ended. I imagine everyone going, uh, everyone back at the dorm is waiting patiently with grumbling stomachs, but I just can't bring myself to abandon the girl. I understand, but I think it's not a problem for me, but I... Yeah, but I just don't know what else I can do. She's still standing out there, placard around her neck and sign hoisted up in the air. I used to say not a single person has stopped and asked for a massage. At this point, I doubt she'd budge an inch from that spot even if a torrential downpour were to occur. What are you doing, Yuma? I don't know what to do. What would you do if you were in my shoes, Shinku? That's right. Hmm. 
客観的に見てあの子もあの子でおかしいけど今のお前もお前で十分不審だぞ物陰に潜んでそこから女の子を何時間もずっと観察し続けているような人間を第三者が見たらどんなひいき目に扱ってくれたところで挙動不審もいいところだよ通報されたとしても文句は言えないって Even if I offered to buy more shoulder massages as a resolution, her charging price is only 100 yen. No amount of massages would ever, it would ever get her to the amount that she needs. I guess I'll just have to see if I can make,、uh, manage to persuade her. Yeah, I know for a while it seems laughable, but what other option do I have? I ruminate over what I could possibly say to her to persuade her. A few seconds after I start to duck out at the、uh, duck out the corner of the alleyway, however. Just a second, Kimi? What are you doing? Hmm. Should provide to slowly turn my body around. Shinku's warning about being reported to the police echoes in my mind. Is that really what's about to happen? What? And who do I find if I'm turning around but Suzu? s a l p h o n in hand, so as, as it so happens. Oh, yeah, it's just you.、Yeah. What do I have to do? Why do you have that out? Why do I have that out? Why do you have that out? Point towards the phone in her hand as I say so. You just took a picture of me, didn't you?、うん動かぬ証拠を収めておかなきゃって思って What do you mean in case it have, it's ever needed? I'm doing nothing wrong here ブツブツブツブツ独り言でもないのかな君の場合はともかくブツブツ言いながらこんなところに隠れてるやつを見かけたら誰だってこいつ怪しいって思うって、What? You're so、ゆうくんは下着泥棒だけじゃなくて覗きにも興味津々なのかなって思っちゃったよ I'm not peeping. What did I ever do for you to be so distrustful? The underwear thing aside, someone who, has, who always strives to act morally and respectfully, it's unfathomable to me that my usual behavior would warrant these kinds of accusations. Heck, we even cleared up the underwear thing. My innocence was proven. She looks at me in confusion, but I know she's simply feigning ignorance. What are you doing? What are you doing? Shush, keep your voice down. ちょっとあれって新人ちゃんじゃん。何でもやります。一回百円。She points the camera and snaps a quick photo of its cost. やだ、何あれ可愛い,い。待ち受けにしたいくらい。Why are you taking so many damn pictures of it? Everything. You suddenly decide to become a photographer overnight. いやあのねさっきまで有名な写真家さんのエッセイを読んでたんだけどね。これがまたすっげえんだその人。何やれ可愛いけどなんであんなことさせてるのちょっとやだよ鬼畜だよかわいそうに Hey hold up why are you shooting me that accusatory glare? You think I coerced her into doing that? あれ違うの No! He was sigh what, what are you doing here anyway? あーそうそう君携帯の電源切ってるっしょ phone. そうだよ朝からずっと連絡しようと思ってかけてるのに全然つながらないんだよ What, seriously? Puffs up her cheeks indignantly. I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't be the first time. No, I didn't mean that. Take my phone from my pants pocket and check it.、Huh, you're right, it's clearly dead. I must have forgotten to charge it. She looks at me in pure disbelief that anybody in this day and age would make that mistake. Can't help that though, I'm just terribly forgetful. Maybe I'm just going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit
But you said you've been trying to call me this whole day. So that you are a very good thing. So, 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 you are a very Uh, Suzu, I know that's important, but uh, don't forget my original question. Why are you trying to call? Hmm. Naruhodo, naruhodo, naruhodo ne. Yosh, kimeta. Do what? Ah, just a shinjin chan. Rushes out onto the street, wholly ignoring my question. Wait, get back here! Quickly, give chase. Yeah, ima, daijoubu. Hoi! She jumps, uh, startled, before turning around to face it. <laughs> これはお兄さんのお姉さんではないですかもしかしてもしかするとお客様ですか違う違う肩なんてこれっぽちも凝ってないからゆるゆるだから今はそんな話じゃなくてねお兄さんまでもしかしてお姉さんを連れてきていただけたのですか She gathers her fists and curls them repeatedly. Set to the enjoyment, is it? Mendoxai, the story is a bit too long, but basically, you want to work for your job, right? Oh, yes, that's right. I understood. If you do that, I will be your slave. Oh, Lord. What? I will be your slave? Yes. I want to take your job to the end of the day. I want to take care of you. What? That, that, this is certainly news to me. What exactly are you pro proposing? No, 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 She eyes me with a rather, sm rather smug expression. She eyes me with a 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 rather Um, Suzu, do, do you know what you're saying? This conversation is moving at too fast a pace for me to keep up. Are you seriously, are, are you actually serious about it? That's a lie. <laughs> その疑わしい目は。もちろん私が仕事と呼ぶものはこの世にたった一つしかないんだ。君にずっと朝から電話してるって言ったでしょ。あれは新しく仕事が入ったからできるだけ早く帰ってきてねってお願いしようと思ってたんだよ。そう。それも待ちに待った。あちら側の仕事だ。ワクワクするだろう。ええー、私はすっげえ楽しいって。とは言っても、あの本屋への道のりが分かったわけでもないから、その場所へ直接殴り込んでやるぜバカ野郎ってなわけにはもちろんいかない。今日のはもっと優しい仕事だ。事後処理みたいな感じのね。Elaborate. So let's go back to the story. So let's go back to the story. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. This is a clean-up job. Got it. They, they, they get home. Like, she's like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Like, just, just hold on. She just walks over to a nearby, like, dress, like, a nearby fucking wardrobe that everyone thought is just empty. Just opens up the back door. Just pulls out a fucking gun. Starts messing with it. All right, I'm done for the cleanup. I'm done, I'm done preparing for the cleanup. Because <laughs> just over here like, did I just agree to be a fu fucking part of an assassination? <laughs> Hey, hold on. Essentially, he's just like, he just grabs a gun out of the fucking thing, just like fucking... Alright, I'm, I'm done. I look like something just flew off. Something just flew at me when I did that. What was that? 
could have sworn something did. I guess I must have been going insane again or something. Apparently. Oh well. <clears throat> that sign looks pretty heavy here. I'll carry it for you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, it appears that she still has her reservations about accepting help from me. <sighs> the three of us thus walk home. Leans over and whispers into my ear. Yeah. And answer in a similarly hushed voice. From what you told me, I relate her the amount I've been told by Tsukasa. それは結構長くだね。あの年、あの何かお伝えましたいや、何でもないよ。とにもかくにも君に最初に言っておかなきゃいけないことがある。はい。私たちの仕事は行ってみたら特別性なんだ。特別そう。だから報酬も破格だ
Scarce listens intently, albeit very evidently confused. So Susan proceeds to explain that Shigure has the power to locate them, among other things. <笑>誰かに読まれちゃう前に回収しなくちゃいけない。なんだかすごいです。その本屋さんはもしかして天国なのですか？どうだろうね。he smiles a bit humorously. うん。そうだね。そういう解釈もできるかもしれない。うん。まるで夢物語だ。突拍子もなさすぎる話だよ。それでも司は信じてくれるかな。信じてもらえなくてもそれはそれで仕方ないんだけど。いえ、もちろん
the same music store was the place we found Shigura seeking the previous time we came here. If you recall, the owner of the store captured it after he had gotten lost in this world. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Is that truly a coincidence, though? No, nothing from Crate. Just have a very bad feeling about this. Anyhow, the top priority right now is retrieving the girl's book. You two ready? Let's go get it. Move towards the door and move my hands to open it. Hmm. Hmm. But both Suzu and I know what to look for, and I also have Shinku with me. Identifying the right book would be essential for us. I also want to know what the book looks like. Hmm. That's not a problem. No, 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 あの、でも、もしも、もしもですよ。どこを探しても、それらしい方が見当たらなかったら、どうしましょう。その時は戻ってきて。どうするか考えるから。それが私の仕事ですか。うん。そうだよ。わかりました。本を探して戻ってくる
そういうことなんだよ。まあね、確かに司にとっては大金だろうけど、私にしてみたら大した額じゃないし。No, でしょうちょっとは見直した He grins ear to ear. Perhaps, but I was never of the opinion that you weren't. This is my way of payback for her soppy speech earlier about us being a team. Wow! Nani so de? Moshkash de ai no kokaku? To no effect whatsoever. Well, I always knew she wasn't immu immune to this sort of embarrassment. It's cause it's still taking her time. Moshkash de hon ga mitsukara nai no kana? We ought to have shown her beforehand what she was looking for. Hmm. Tashi ka ni butsuke honban wa kitsukatta ka na? We both exchanged plans. But if you were looking for the book, you would have to go back to the book. Maybe she got herself into a pickle. That's a sore nose. Could have potentially seen her or something. I don't think so. But this is a bad thing. That's why I don't think it's a bad thing. But... Do you want to wait a bit longer? That's right. もう少し、もう少しだけ。Five minutes elapsed. Scott has yet to return. It was really strange. She shouldn't be taking this long at all. うん、そうだね。しょうがない。様子を見に行く。Definitely. After agreeing on our course of action, we prepare to head inside. やってしまいました。At that very moment, the door to the music store flies open, and Scott comes flying out. What? She rushes up to it, a scarcely pale and eyes watering. She indeed brought the book we were looking for and tell. Uh, uh, Suzu takes it and flips to the pages to check its contents. And on conveying my information, the book's binding closely resembles that of Shinku's. やらかしたってはいあの言われた場所で本を探していたら僕の扉が自動ドアみたいに突然開いてきっと私に見えないだけで売り場にお店の人がやってきたんだって思ってああだからそんな状態で本を抜き取ったらお店の人にバレちゃうかもしれないしでもでもいつまで待っていたら大丈夫になるのか全然わからないですし。Now, Cassie, you stood there and bided your time. Hi, yes. She barakuta te. No, daijobu kana te omote. Honda na de mitsuketa sore poi hon o nuki totan desu kedo. Nuki totan da kedo? Doushite ka tana ni narande ita kakufu ga issu ni nuke chatte. Yuka ni ippai chirabase te shimatta an desu. Sore wa tashika ni yatchimaimashita ga. Hai, so na desu. Sore ni tabu. お店の方が近くにいらっしゃったんです。レジの前に置いてあった椅子がカタンと倒れたんです。だからバレちゃいましたと思って、私逃げてきちゃいました。なるほどなるほど。向こうの人を驚かせちゃったわけか。こりゃ悪いことしちゃったかな。早く早く逃げましょう。じゃないと楽器にされちゃいます。楽器に？生皮剥がされてしょみ。She was kidding when she said that. Okay, but you really don't need to panic. Ushered by a flustered scarce, we leave the place without delay. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? A crew member of the fucking mystery gang? <laughs> sure, sure, it sure, sure looks like you're changed the way you look, fucking Belma. That was her name, right? Am I stupid? Sorry, it's been a while since I last had. Anything to do with Scooby Doo? Velma, not Velma. Velma. Excellent. 
who was the one that went uh, that said jeepers hold on yeah. mm -hmm. do jeepers not creepers Daphne was the one that says jeepers. Yeah, like Shaggy says swings, Velma says jinkies, Daphne says uh, jeepers. Scooby says rot row, and uh, my favorite theory is that Fred just says fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, apparently in a sam uh, in samurai sword. He just says, darn, I still don't have a phrase. <laughs> uh. Let out a deep sound of relief immediately upon reviving back in the dorm basement. <laughs> Imagine the person working there, spo uh, th there she spooked feels the same about her. Sudden noises in an empty room and a door that opens and closes on its own. I think most everyone would be frightened in that situation. ともかくあれだ。トラブルはあったけれど、お仕事完了。よく頑張ったね。私、役に立ったでしょうか。迷惑かけただけみたいな気がするのですが、そんなことないよ。十分楽しませて。じゃなくて、役に立ってくれたよ
り難しいのですけれどこれまでも何度かこういったやり取りを管理人様としていました But what for? 11番です What? はいその番号が私がお支払いするお金の行き着く先だと管理人様はおっしゃっていましたそれではどうかよろしくお願いいたしますああお兄さんからいただいたお守りの一万円札はちゃんとしっかり使わずにずっとずっと取っておきますので<笑>おやすみなさいです<笑>よく考えついたな。それだけでも偉いって思うよ。Um, あそこはどこの世界へつながってるか知ってるのか no、そうか。それじゃあとにかくやることをやるしかないよな。What do you mean? つかさのお金をあそこから送るんじゃないのか多分そういうことなんじゃないかって私は思うけど anyone, 確信が持てる証拠みたいなのを探してみるか Curious, I waste no time and open it. There's quite a lot of information written. For example, there's a basic sketch showing which drawers connect to what worlds, along with the time difference between each world, the world and hours that we live in. There's also this text instructing me to send any money that Tsukasa gives me to drawer number 11. Yeah, but goodness, she would have killed me sometimes. If you're gonna leave behind such vital information for me, it'll at least place the letter somewhere more conspicuous. I hate to think that what, if, what would have happened if I hadn't found it. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Carefully place the bills that Tsukasa gave me in the drawer 11, one by one, just as the letter instructed. Number 11, I'm not sure. Yoka, Karanai, te, nanda yo, sore wa. Sketch only denotes the names of the world and its corresponding drawer numbers. Since I've never been to this place, so I can't speak to what it's like. With that, I finished inserting the last set of money. Okay, I guess we're ready then. In the rosa, Yuma, chanto yuareta yo ni standa kara. Sare de in da. Right, I guess we should head back home now. I do not know who Tsukasa was sending the money to or why. Still left in confusion after concluding the matter, I returned to my apartment to finish off the day, out the day. Talking is hard, by the way. Did you know that? News to me. Except it's not. Yoshi Kako! Kyo no bun no nitki da! なんだ相変わらずテンションが低いな見るからに元気ない、really? ああそうだよなんだか私が嫌がるお前に無理やりやらせてるみたいでいい気分がしないよまあ、This... 半分はそんな感じだけど、really? おいさっきからそうかなしか言ってない Really? ほらまたそうかなあだ。他に何も言うことはないのか、uh, ?Really? お前、<笑>いい加減にしないと噛むぞ。<笑>
That'd be more of a reward than punishment. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> I mean... He won because now she's not gonna bite him. I I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't glare at me in disgust. I'm sorry, Shiku. Like I always tell you, it's not a matter of liking or disliking it, I'm just not good at it. I mean, you can practice doing something all you like, but if you're not good at it, it's hard to really enjoy, find enjoyment in doing it, right? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Shiku. Not like I said, it's not a game. I love that she's the one calling him rotten little twerp, even though she is not just smaller than him, but also currently sitting in his lap. <laughs> that sounds really frightening. Oi! Nimano Awazatoka! Wazato Daro! Wazato Nandana! So I got curious about what the punishment might be for a second, and my mouth acted on impulse. After declaring her return, she leans her body forward. Hey, Shinki, what are you? <laughs> Not a second later, she launches the back of her head into my throat. <coughs> she caught me entirely off guard. <laughs> I bit my tongue. Don't do that. Don't you're a slave driver. Fine. I open up the book and take my pen in hand. She can instruct me and then begin filling out the pages. Okay, that's match for the day done with. I really flopped down onto my bed. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm heading to the sack right now, regardless of what anyone says. Why, considering that he has to be uber fucking specific, apparently? I can never put my mind to it, which means I have an awful time trying to focus. Huh? Hmm. Shinka? Huh. Raise my head from the sheets. Why would you think that? No, I think I sort of see the point you're trying to make, but I promise you're just overanalyzing the situation. She turns her cheek uh, to, to me in a hug. What? Don't throw a little tamp temper tantrum on me now, Shinkan. <sighs> Since she and I are always together, I guess it's easy for me to speak on accents without giving her feeding due consideration. Sorry, Shunku, that was rude to me. I'll do anything you want me to, so please, just forgive me. Huh? Yeah, I promise anything you want at all. You want me to talk with you, that's sad. Sure, it's back with a... back around with a wide smile on her face. Say, were you even mad to begin with, Shinku? <laughs> kind of feel like I've been tricked. Look at that smile. <laughs> hey, did you do that on purpose? <laughs> like always, she and I talked on for hours after hour, for hour after hour about silly mundane things. Even so, I enjoyed every second of her little tete a tete. I did promise her that I would uh, keep her company till morning came, but unfortunately, body wasn't quite willing to comply. Sorry, my eyes are starting to close. I don't think I can stay awake any longer. Pull down and allow my exhausted body to sink into the bed. So I'll even remember what Chico was talking about toward the end of our conversation. Talking to you is a lot of fun, and I'd do it if I could, but my body definitely can't last till morning. <laughs> Thanks. Oyasumi, Yuma. Slowly close my eyelids. Night, Shinku. 
あユウマの明日が楽しいことでたくさんたくさんあふれているようにって祈ってるよ That's fine to slumber begin to dream of it again Feathers pure white like snow falling from a blue sky And next chapter. The oddity of your presence. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, the fan service episode. Um, anyways, uh. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> in case you don't get the con, uh, uh, in case you don't get the fucking context of that. That's a mocking. Okay, I believe you. Like the idiot characters believe something they, not at fucking all, should believe. So yeah. Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, see you next time. Oh hey, we fill out the first page. See you next time. Bye bye. And to be honest, quite frankly, it wouldn't need to be the first page considering this save is useless. Since I made that one just for CG gathering purposes but before knowing that the fucking thing is already a thing and also this one actually so quite frankly two would still be open <laughs> who cares bye